Okay, um, so for this problem, we're given that we have a cylindrical tank uh, with a radius of three meters, and that it's being filled at this volumetric rate of four meters cubed per minute. And uh, let's see, the question asks, how fast is the height of the water increasing? Um, so for a cylinder, but we know that the volume is equal to the, the area of the base times the height. Um, so now, how? Uh, so what we need here is well, how does the what is the time rate of change for volume, or how does the volume change with respect to time? Um, you know, we could think of it this as several ways. You know, maybe I draw my cylinder here, and then now I want to look at okay, well, I have some I have some level of water in there already. So then the volume of my water, in that case, um, if we just make this small heights, we'll call that uh, H prime. So then the volume of my water would just be similar um, up to height H prime. Um, so it really doesn't matter which, which way we do this. Um, what we need to do next is take the time rate of change of this volume because uh, the volume in our cylinder is changing at the same rate that the, the water is flowing in. So if we take the time derivative of this, so then uh, the change in volume with respect to time is equal to pi times uh, the derivative of r squared, which would be 2r r dot times h prime uh, plus r squared h prime dot. So the dot means the time rate of change. Um, in this case, we are not changing, the radius is fixed. Our radius is not changing with respect to time. So in that case, this whole first piece here, uh, we, we can throw out because it's zero. So then the volume change with respect to time is just pi times the radius squared times the height, the change in height. And that makes sense because that's the only way direction our volume is changing is the height. So, and we're also given that we got water flowing in at four meters cubed per minute. So all we have to do is uh, equate these two. So I'll make a new board here. So we know that V dot equal to pi r squared h dot, where h dot is what we're looking for, and that is equal to 4 meters cubed per minute. So all we got to do is let's plug in some numbers here. So we got pi, uh, the radius we said was 3, so the radius squared is 9 meters squared h equals 4 meters cubed per minute. If we solve for h here, we should get 4 meters cubed per minute divided by pi divided by 9 meters squared. In that case, our units of meters. Uh, so, so the meter squared will factor out, and we see here that we're left with meters per minute, um, and that makes sense. That should be the units that we're getting for, and let me not forget that my h is h dot. It's changing. Um, so, and from here, um, just plug in the numbers. So four divided by nine pi. Um, Do that. So 
four divided by nine pi meters per minute. And that is how fast the height of the water in the tank is changing. Thank you.